Jeff and Jeremy. It's like a radio gasm. I said, hey, babe, check it out on the podcast. Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and Spotify. All this is going viral. Time to give away a free pizza from our friends at Mama Leah's. Mama Leah's, Los Osos Valley Road at the Bear Valley Shopping Center. Hey, what time is it, cowboy? <laughs> Time for the Daily Tex Roundup. The Daily Tex Roundup? What's that? Jeff and Jeremy finally get to those text messages they've been neglecting. Oh, boy! I love text messages! The Daily Tex Roundup is powered by Mama Leah's Pizzeria on Los Osos Valley Road in Slow. Saddle up, partners, because here they come. Mama Leah's, home of the $5 slice. Mama Leah's Bear Valley Shopping Center in uh, San Luis Obispo, Los Osos Valley Road there. Go by and see them. They actually are located right next to the rib line, if you've been there before, off Los Osos Valley Road. And they do a pizza with the uh, rib line barbecue sauce. Uh, there's a lot that we didn't get to uh, because of the, I guess, the topic we were just talking about, price gouging, corporations, specifically gas uh, companies, uh, or not gas companies, but oil companies. Um, Griffey fan. Or uh, Bushmills fan lately, thanks to COVID. Um, says there were more fracking ops than just the one in Canada. Mr. Know-it-all mentioned. He must have been talking about the gentleman that called in. Uh, maybe no oil will ever throw th- flow through the Keystone pipeline, but speculation also drives up the price of barrels of crude oil. I mean, this is the weirdest industry that we are we are handcuffed by. I mean, we are, our dependence is is just insane. And unless you buy an electric car, <laughs> which Tesla <laughs> Tesla girl with the bad uh, Bluetooth connection. <laughs> GM is coming out with a bunch of electric cars. Ford Jeez. has got their new electric Mustang. Um, you drove that for a little bit, right? Yes, I loved it. You know, um, really fast. <laughs> but then you, you got to find a charging station. I mean, it's it's still there's a learning curve. To yeah, it, we're right? still handcuffed. I mean, it, it, you're still handcuffed at, at, at energy. So. Dirt Road Dave writes in. He says, uh, "This is really funny when you guys get all fired up and excited." Thank you, Dave. Um, I'm not trying to be funny, but uh, I'm glad at the same time that we, we well, I, we're I, not taking it that serious. I mean. At the, but, but we are. I mean, it's just at the same time, you have to laugh because it's like, huh, the timing, everything is just funny to me. Hashtag funny but sad because it is sad that we're just like, so like everybody, not everybody, but a fair amount of Americans just accept it. They're just like, oh, all the truckers are retiring. Okay. I guess we'll pay more prices on everything. Um, uh, oh, uh, they're shutting down a pipeline that wasn't even moving oil. Um, so our gas prices are, are, are they're shutting down the construction of a pipeline that wasn't even moving oil. Uh, so they say that's going to drive up our gas prices, and we're all like, okay, I guess we can understand that. Well, that's <laughs> the thing which Bill is saying. Pro Airbnb Bill writes, and he says, also speculation creates self-fulfilling profile. People say prices will go up, so they raise prices. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's what I feel like we hear the news, like, oh, boy, there's yeah. a... You know, there's a, apparently there's a new study out that truck drivers, there's a shortage, so hey, everything's got to go up because they transfer and truck everything. Oh, well, this is just Dan. Uh, uh, there's a storm in Texas in, uh, in, a, in February and uh, yeah. it killed a lot of pigs, so expect your pork prices to go up and the pork the pork guys are sitting there rubbing their hands together. And I'm not saying, I love it when a message gets out. We're not idiots. I mean, I understand that is going to affect a portion of this. I understand that. I do get it. But is that is that affecting the entire country? It creates mass hysteria. And if we've taught anybody anything over the past year is that we'll buy into hysteria. We will 100% buy into hysteria. So you don't think corporations or industries are paying attention to that? They're like, man, people believe anything you tell them. As long as you tell them with a sky is falling attitude... Let's raise some pork prices. Let's raise some chicken prices. Let's raise some oil prices. Let's raise some lumber prices. You name it. They've got my extra money now. They're believing it. They're buying it. They're all in. Don't think for a minute. Don't think for a minute that these quote-unquote news organizations that spit this stuff out, the pork, the chicken, 
the oil, the lumber, they're not supported by advertising dollars from people from the pork, chicken, oil, lumber industries. <laughs> hey, thanks for uh, passing along that pork prices were going to go up. Uh, we're looking to do some advertising. <laughs> I mean, it's just how it works. Uh, it's our text message roundup and our text message of the day. Yeah, we, we want to give it to somebody who is deserving. I hope he answers the phone or she answers the phone. What did they say? Um, I know you can't dial and read at the same okay. time. It's tough to do. He thinks that uh, the news should say that there's a shortage of jobs. That way, all these scumbags will go out and get one and stop collecting their unemployment check. There is a, I mean, <laughs> hello. Hello, hater. <laughs> What, what's going on, brother? You guys are great. Listen, <laughs> that guy was a f- douchebag, though. <laughs> hey, hey, we're listen. We're on the radio. You can't say that. I can dump that out. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll dump right. it out. I'll dump it out. We got what it. Guy? We got it. What guy are you talking about? The guy about the truckers retiring and all that. It just he just needs to shut his mouth. Yeah. Um, he has no clue what he's talking about. So uh, you think there should uh, the news should say there's a shortage of jobs? That way the scumbags will all go get one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, look at they said there's a shortage of gas, and all of a sudden these guys are filling up plastic bags. And, and <laughs> I saw that. I mean, really? you see that? Seriously, there's a woman, and I don't know if it's real or not, but why, I mean, it's hey, really why did funny. you have to bring her down by just qualifying her as a woman? Well, it was a it, woman. It wasn't a guy. He said it was a guy. It was a woman, <laughs> or at least I, the one yeah. I saw was a woman, and then she tried it to double woman, bag yeah, it. With the plastic bag. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. funny. I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't real, but. You know, here's the thing. I saw something else. I saw a How meme you up on your, social media. Your apparatus, if you're putting it in a plastic bag, do you cut a hole with a knife and just kind of... Uh, no, you it? just fill it up and then you tie oh, it no. off like your groceries. How are you going to dump it back into your... Into I don't your, know. Because it doesn't make sense anyway, Jeff. First of all, it's going to dissolve the bag and it's going to be You made us laugh today, so we're going to give you the Mama Leah's pizza, okay? Nice, nice. But I saw a good meme on social media that said, you know, if we just gave stimulus to people that had jobs, I bet you a lot more people would be right? signing up to go back Absolutely. to work. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely. Well, you know what, 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 really, what really bums me out is, like you said, people will just accept it. They're just accepting this. I mean... Do some do some research for yourself. Think for yourself. Well, Don't and it doesn't even. It, it, this is not something that involves a ton of research. I mean, it's all common it's, sense. It's, it's laid out it's, there in front of you. There you go, right there. Common sense, and you know what? Common sense is a flower that doesn't grow in everybody's garden. That's the problem. Uh, we're you so know? we are so strapped by the Poor information. <laughs> well, we I noticed that you haven't texted in a while, and it, it's. Good. have you back so uh thank you for, right for making us laugh a little and, bit this and morning. we're like we're like the government we're uh giving you stuff for uh, listening to us <laughs> yeah we're paying you off <laughs> right on, right on. All right, hold, on. hold on a second i need to get a couple things for me so we can get you your pizza from mama leah's home of the five dollar slice bear valley uh sh- shopping center in uh off Los Osos valley road in san luis obispo i was talking to tim off the air or apparently we were going on the air Let's have that conversation on the air now. With Jeff and Jeremy <laughs> you, Tim. in the morning. Can you, can you can you repeat what you were saying uh, real quick? We're talking about you know gas prices, oil prices, all this stuff going up. And I know you had some valid things to say. What were you saying? Uh, there's a couple reasons why um, I'm in the industry of selling hardwood and, and flooring products, cabinets, and our suppliers used to pay nine months ago an average of 900 to 1100 per container coming over to the United States. They're now at 5,600, expected to go to 10,000 by July. So everything that comes over from overseas, no matter what's in that container, uh, because there's a container shortage during COVID, they shut down making them. Supply and demand, they can't find enough containers, so they're bidding on them. So that's driving up everything, all our staple uh, things that we use. And uh, as far as the oil goes, the contracts during Trump had thousands of contracts, made us the number one exporter of oil. And I think on day one or day two, Biden got rid of all those federal contracts. So, yes, speculation is that we're going to be borrowing more oil or buying it from Saudi Arabia. So that has a contributing factor. Mm. Yeah, so they forecast it. And that's when they start raising prices before they even have to, right? Uh, 100%. Absolutely. They, uh, the big the big rich uh, companies get get over on us and they get to... Uh, we have no choice, right? We're, what can we do? So, yeah, no, that's yeah. good, man. Thank you for the call, Tim. Thank you for your comments. Yeah, have, have, sure, have a great day. Thank you. I mean, that's good insight, Jeff. 
number one, to get I inside. I didn't know of- the shipping container uh, business was into, like, oh, we have a shortage of shipping containers now, too. Because they're making, you know what? Quit making them into friggin' homes <laughs> and, and put them back on the, on the ships. I agree 100%. Put some product in those homes. Would you ever live in a shipping container home? I mean, if it was built right, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Well, you're what? part of the problem then. Well, not, not anymore. I wouldn't because I wouldn't be able to afford it. What's more expensive? Lumber's gone up. I mean, everything has gone up. But you know what? I think what you were saying earlier about the storm and the chicken and the pork and the storm, they have an excuse to raise it. Let's raise it. Let's raise it. You can't tell me that's not part of it. I'm not saying it's all of it, but you can't tell me that's not part of it. Hashtag, apparently she's done. Ellen's called it quits. Today... I am announcing that next season, season 19, is going to be my last season. So, the past 18 years, you have to know, has changed my life. Is it rude rude when somebody says, I'm not going to be working anymore, and they clap? It's like liking the fact that you broke up with somebody on Facebook. I did the clap. I was... Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you called me on it. I was just trying to be funny. I was was like, did her... Did her audience really just clap at the fact that she's leaving? Yeah, this is what it Today, I'm really announcing it like. that next season, season 19, is going to be my last season. So, the past 18 years, <laughs> you have to know, has changed my life. You all have changed my life. And I am forever grateful to all of you for watching, for laughing, for dancing, mm-hmm. sometimes crying. This show has been the greatest experience of my life. Good for and you. I owe it all to you. Okay, stop crying. Listen, uh, great show. Um, I like Ellen. I don't know about you know the toxic work environment and all that stuff. I believe that her when she says she wasn't aware of a lot of that. Just because I have people that work on these shows with all these producers. By the way, Jeff and I have zero producers. Lance came in here yesterday. It's like, where's your producers at? I go, we don't have any. This, this is, <laughs> Come on, this this is, is 2021. This is not an we're in San Luis <laughs> But when you work at, you work on a show like Ellen, there's a hundred uh, oh, so people, people on that show. So many people work on that show. So I, and, and she's just there to host it, right? She's dealing with a handful of people. So I get all that. But, you know, great show. Good for her. The good news is here is hashtag who's next. This really opens it up for somebody else to become the next big thing and and uh, have next know, woman up her success. Woman, man. I really think it's going to be a man. Give me a, your short list name of men that could fill we that We need position. another Donahue, man. Remember Donahue? Donahue was great. No, I don't know. It's probably not going to be a man. <laughs> Ellen brought us Bieber. Good riddance. <laughs> Why did she bring us Bieber? What is it? Did she introduce I, us to Justin Bieber? I don't world? know. I don't know. I mean, she's had him on a bunch, I guess. So, Anyways, are, Ellen's going to be done. She's got one more season, and then she's going to be I want to see a documentary, because there was a period of time in which Ellen did these short, um, <laughs> like, you know, like the kids would she'd bring kids on the show, and the kids would sing, and then the kids would get to meet their favorite Stars, and then they had like recurring roles on the show. Like there was like maybe it was a twin or a, a girl. I forget what it was, but I want to see because that girl's grown up now. I want to see Ellen behind the music, the child stars. That's what I want to see. I want to see what the child stars that Ellen brought on the show, what they're doing now, what they ended up doing. Yeah, yeah. it's probably very depressing, <laughs> so she won't do it. Because <laughs> Ellen's always been positive and funny. Which is good. I mean, especially in yeah, today's day. If there, if there was a good outcome to one of those kids that she was exploiting for the uh, cheap uh, oohs and ahs uh, in the in the mid two thousands, if there was a good outcome for one of those kids, it would still be exploited to this day. We hear nothing about those kids anymore. Hashtag Carol Baskin, you bitch. Uh, she's back in the news. She's talking to CNN about people that own tigers and how toxic these people are. Is the people who were involved in... Bu- Wait a second. Doesn't she own tigers? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Buying and selling and owning and transporting this tiger have proven that they are absolutely reckless individuals with no concern for the people around them or for the animal involved. No tiger belongs in a backyard or basement. Tigers are hardwired to roam hundreds of square miles, so there's no cage that's going to be sufficient for them. 
And the only reason that people have tigers as pets is to try and show off to others that they are more powerful than the most powerful creature on the planet. That already tells you that the kind of people who own tigers are really dangerous, reckless people. Mm, like yourself, like because yeah, you so own tigers. Uh, well, I mean, kept them caged up when they should be. I mean, what? there are accusations that you killed your first husband, so there's <laughs> a good chance that you could be caught. Well, she was taking care of the tigers. You know, she she did feed them. She was out of tiger food that day. Uh, let's see here. Um, oh, I got a good one. I got you a good, do? I got a good one. Okay. Uh, hashtag uh, won't face charges. Uh, teacher in Florida oh. is not going to uh, face four felony uh, accounts of uh, of child abuse um, for spraying her teenage students with aerosol disinfectant because they were not wearing their masks properly in school. I think there was four kids. I read this story, and apparently she said, where's your mask? They're like, yeah, I don't have one. So she went up, she sprayed them with disinfectant. Yes. I mean, what the hell is going on in people's heads? You're going to go up to a kid and spray them with a disinfectant? And I don't, it was a rubbing alcohol, was it Clorox? I have no idea what she sprayed on them, but that's, and you think this is a person that has been trained to watch and take care of kids Get this. and teach them, of course. And she's tenured. She's worked for the school for 18 years. She basically threw it a all crazy away. crazy person would spray something like that on a person. Threw it all away for a tin foil hat. Uh, <laughs> Let me see. Scenario. We have... Um, I don't know who this is from. It's one of our local distilleries has made us some hand sanitizer. But they put it in one of these spray bottles. Yeah. If somebody. Oh, I, my God. If, I can, somebody threw that, if somebody sprayed that in my face, I'm punching them in the face. This would burn <laughs> if it hit your eyes. I've got a full-on spray bottle with a, a good 15, 20-foot spray on this son of a bitch. The, uh, the teens were not injured by the spray, which is used to disinfect the surfaces. Um, uh, judge referred to the spraying as... Seer, a severely misguided attempt at discipline. Hey, look, can we conduct an experiment real quick? Can I spray you in the face with no, this? Okay, and if, let's just see what happens. I punch you in the face with this. Straddling the fine line between career and mental illness. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOC.